Hello, everyone, and welcome to Enlightened World Network. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Terry Angel here with my co-host, Jean Morio. Hello, Thank Jean. You. And we have on board with us today the amazing Michelle Landers. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Terry and Jean. So nice to be with you guys again. Great to be with you. And Michelle is going to enlighten us about this upcoming month that we're going into, the first month of a new year. I want to share with those that um, may not be familiar with Michelle that she is a board certified life purpose coach and a hypnotherapist. She is a dynamic and gifted lecturer, teacher, author, and consultant on the subjects of personal empowerment, the law of attraction, and numerology, which we dearly look forward to every month hearing about the numerology for our, our months. She is recognized and highly regarded as an authority in her field. Michelle has appeared on numerous TV and radio programs and was featured was a featured life coach on Fox 29's South Florida Today with Shannon Cake. Michelle is a sought after media personality and a speaker who has helped thousands of clients gain more clarity and direction in their lives and discovering their own unique talents. Her books, The Tao of Numbers and The Year of Living Miraculously are both informative and entertaining. And I am so looking forward to what my January is going to look like. How about you, Jean? Me too. <laughs> and we are playing a magic game here. We are kind of going in and out, and that's okay, because I think that might have something to do with the energy, Michelle. I think it does. It, it does, and thank you so much for having me on, uh, Terry and Jean. I want your invisibility cloaks that you're wearing, because <laughs> it's really magical. Yeah. One. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it over to you, my dear. So it is, um, it, you're making a joke about it, but it's true. You know, there's a lot going on galactically and we're, uh, there she goes again, disappearing act. Um, and it has a lot to do with our energy in, um, in the coming year, but also, so January to start that, 2022 year off January. The January is a one month, but if you couple that with the numerological energy of 2022, which is six, six plus January one is a seven. So universally, the energy for January is seven. Now, what is seven about? Seven is mystical. It's mystical, it's magical, it's a number of God. It is an energy of revelations and it's also an energy of pulling in. So what does that mean? That means based on the numbers, I don't think anybody's gonna be rushing out into crowds again too soon, okay? I know that you know there's been a lot of happen things that have been happening in relationship to uh, the different viruses and people meeting over the holidays, and so I think that's going to spill over into January of people just still pulling pulling back after all of these uh, uh, gatherings of December. So I think people will be pulling back. Uh, techno technologically, there should be some new things coming to the surface um, for us generally. It's a great time to be near water. So also anything water related may be on the docket, so to speak, up for either discussion or uh, revelations about you know water or water supply system. Um, People are definitely wanting to reevaluate things. I think January, a lot of people are going to be spending time and, you know, wondering. Hopefully, they listen to the broadcast about what's coming up for the year in 2022. And if they haven't, there a lot of people are going to be thinking, "What's coming? What's going on this year?" So there's going to be a lot of reevaluating and thinking about 
how do I want to play out in this year? Um, it's a time to step back and again, reevaluate, um, analyze, think about your life. Um, if you can get out into nature, get near water, do that. Water is a big energy of January. So we have, um, let's see, we have a new moon in Capricorn and that's on January 2nd. So pay attention to that. Set your new intentions, uh, especially on January 2nd. January 17th is the full moon in Cancer and Cancer is very feeling, the moon very feeling. So we can expect that that time, that time period could be um, uh, it's intense. And especially if you are a Cancer, you're gonna really feel it. Um, January 18th, uh, Uranus moves stationary. And that is the planet of awakening, of truth, of sometimes revolution, but it demands equality and truth. So there could be around that period of time, some shocks to the system, so to speak, maybe surprises, you know, and a little bit of rebellion here. So towards the middle of the month, going towards the end, people are going to be thinking, Hey, I really want to change things. How is that going to How is that going to play out? What am I going to do to change things? So it's a whole month of getting in touch, really spending time to get in touch with your soul, your spirit, uh, your beliefs again, and how you want the year to play out. And pay attention to January second. Set your new intentions. January seventeenth, full moon. Let go of what you don't want in your life. But um, oh God, it's such a strong spiritual connection. And it's very individual. So it's okay for you to kind of be a little bit reclusive in January and spend time alone in, in thought and prayer and meditation. That's very good. If you're feeling that energy, I just don't want to go out. It's okay. Because you will in February, that's going to be a much different month. So that kind of is the overview of January. And, um, you know, for everybody, though, personally, their January is going to be a little bit different based on their year and their numerology. So if people are interested in finding out that, you know, they can always contact me. So overall, overriding energy, thoughtful, connect to the divine, meditate, spend time alone. And um, I think I did mention revelations too. Things will be exposed. Things will come to the forefront. So that's a very, very brief explanation of January, but it should get us off to a good start. And I'm excited about the year and I'm excited about January as well. Good for writing too. I should mention that. It's also good for writing. Here you are, Terry. So... There we so go. Any, new any questions? Oh, new beginning. That's that's what I kept hearing, Michelle, as you were talking. That, that um, this I, I love January. Every year, I just so look forward to a fresh, clean slate, and yeah. I feel that way with this coming January. That we have that opportunity, don't we, to uh -huh. to really make it a fresh start. I love that, and I love that you said uh, what you did about water. Because as you know, I'm on this journey of, of traveling and I was thinking, well, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to be for the, the full month of January, but I have a feeling there's going to be water involved there. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, that's good. I would really encourage you to, um, to go to a place where, you know, you're surrounded by water. I really yeah, or be on the water. Take a cruise, maybe, you know. <laughs> well, there's a thought. <laughs> I think that's a good thought. That's really a good thought. Be on water somehow, you know, be in touch with it. And it's really great. It, it's um, the little feng shui. It's great when you come into the entrance of your home to have some water um, 
what are they, any kind of well, water something, a waterfall, something to do with water at the entrance of your home, a water feature of some type. That's really good as well. That's good to know. Oh, I've always had a water fountain at, at the entrance, but they keep clogging up or something. So right now I'm in between them, but it, oh. I have Christmas decorations up, but I always have a little, usually it has Buddha on it and I have a waterfall. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful. That's wonderful. It's really good feng shui for your home. But I guess you knew that, Jean, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, reevaluate, spend some time alone, do a vision board. I should really do a vision board workshop. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. we should think about that, maybe. I think about yeah. that, because I, I know I love your vision board workshops. So let's, yeah, let's do some talking let's and planning. today. <laughs> I think we should. I mean, Terry, we did one before, right? Together. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll do that. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah, lots of opportunity. You know, I was just talking about that this morning. Every moment, every second is an opportunity to turn things around, to think more positive, smile. You know, the smile is so important. So as we enter this new year and this new month coming up, just enter it with a smile and right. put, on, put on that happy and joyous um, bubbly energy to bring it in more fully i mean how can you go wrong with that you know how could you ever go wrong with smiling and being happy i'm not saying to walk around like a pollyanna although that's not such a bad idea but i mean i we're human beings and i understand that you know we have emotions it's normal to you know to feel things and to um it's better to respond than react. We know that. But I mean, we all get thrown off our center now and again. And that's okay. It's part of being human. I mean, even what do I always say? Even Jesus had bad days, right? You know? right. Yes. So, but the the big however is how long are we going to stay with that? You know? And it feels so good to smile. You could be. Uh -huh unhappy but if you make yourself smile you can help but shift the energy i mean you know try it sometime when you're in the, if you're kind of off and grumbling and say okay i'm gonna smile and at first you know your ego kind of fights that no i don't want to smile but when you do it all of a sudden it, it just changes you know it helps to shift that um whatever that is, it's been troubling you, you know? I agree. I mean, just think about when there's a, a baby that's upset <laughs> and it's crying. What do we do? We try to make it smile or mm -hmm. giggle or, you know, bring that energy to a more positive state. And we can do the same thing with ourselves. We find ourselves going into that low vibration. Right. Just focus on something that you can smile about. We all have something, you know, pull yeah. on that energy, pull on a that's memory. A that's a really good point or analogy. That's great. What do you do with a baby who's upset? You try to make it smile. Yeah. Right. That's um, great. Yeah, I've, I've loved this time with you today. It's so awesome. Jean, did you have any questions for no, her? No, I didn't. I'm just so uh, excited. <laughs> just <so> <laughs> Besides that, I'm so excited about uh, this year and uh, making it just a real special year. And, and I've seen all this coming and people are starting to care for each other. They're starting to realize that they do, that we can't live separate. We have to be together. You know, technology that, sometimes works for us. <laughs> that is perfect. I am loving what's going on with you two in that screen. I'm really loving it. It's magical. Yeah. It's magical. Um, <laughs> well, I've loved all of this information and this time together. And if anyone wants to reach out to Michelle, go to her website. It's Michelle with one L, michellelanders.com. And you'll find so much information on there. 
I encourage you to sign up for her newsletter, which is fun and full of beautiful information for us each month. And there's so many opportunities to take advantage of specials that she runs and check into her numerology charts that she does because they're amazing. I can personally say that because I've had one done before and I know what all that is packed full of. So Michelle, thank you. I'm, I'm praying that people will reach out more to you and get more interested in what the numbers say because they speak very loudly to us, don't they? They, they do. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank yes. you both so much. Uh, Blessings to you. Blessings to all that are watching this. And Jean, thank you so much oh, for being here with me much. today. Thank this you, was Jean. a pleasure. Yeah. This was fun. Pleasure. fun. Absolutely. So we're going to leave everybody with, we hope you have a blessed day. And stay in your hearts and stay blessed. And namaste, namaste. y'all. Bye, everybody. Bye.